See, the reason God's standard for marriage and family are permanent, timeless, and changeless is because He has established them. See, marriage is God's idea. It's not our idea, but it's God's idea. The Bible says you are now ready to form a spiritual and physical union. You will be completed under the authority of our Heavenly Father. As I was thinking what to write and what to say, I was struggling to find a way to start. Then it hit me. It's really not that difficult. It's quite simple. Because like all things, it starts with God. For in Him all things were created. All things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. And we are here by His purpose, for His purpose. Abigail, you are an answered prayer. There have been many times in my past when I thought this day would never get here. But you were part of God's plan all along. We were part of His plan. Excited, excited to see <laughs> what he has planned for us. Why did I write this so long? I'm good. Abigail, you are amazing. You're kind. You're patient. You're funny. You're smart. You're focused, determined, and relentless. You place the needs of others before your own. God's love shines through you every day, and I love that. So I know this life's not going to be uh, easy, and there's going to be a lot of struggles. But in the midst of it all, I know it will be worth it. There is one promise that I will make, and it's a promise that I can keep. <laughs> and it's a promise that everything else falls under. <laughs> and that is, I will make the donkey sound every day for the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> but Abigail, I, I promise to love God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and all my strength, and to love you as myself. <laughs> you coming into my life is proof of the goodness of God. I knew that He loved me. But God must really, really love me to give me the privilege of being your wife. Your gentleness makes me feel safe and brings me peace. You challenge me and help me grow. And, and you do it in the most patient and kind way. The way you value me gives me confidence and inspires me to dream. Your servant heart makes you an excellent leader that I'm honored to follow. You truly love like Christ, and you're an answered promise that God made to me. So Jason, these are my promises to you. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to put the Lord first and you a close second. <laughs> I promise to put your needs above my own. I promise to see your God-given potential and always speak into that. I promise to be intentional in my choice to love you on days that it's easy and days that it may be hard. And I promise to follow you as you follow Christ. I love you yesterday, today, and forever.